What is up, everybody? Sean at E-Man here, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are having yourselves a pretty good week so far. Uh, very much. I just, at the time of me recording, uh, if you're watching this on Thursday, I went and watched Madam Webb last night, uh, which I don't know why they put this out on a Wednesday, which is, I, I, I don't know, it's weird. But I am here to give my review of it. This will have spoilers, that kind of thing. If you didn't see the card, which you should. Um, but a few housekeeping things before we get into it. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you've seen Madam Web, let me know in the comment section what you thought about it. Also, later today, or depending on when you're watching this, part two of our uh, replay of Halo 3 is up. Uh, so be sure to check that out as well. All right. I thought about so I thought about this on the way home because uh, I wasn't there at this point. You know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of you know, content creators had already seen the movie and Rotten Tomatoes it gave it a pretty poor score. It, it's so it, it is very much not viewed well amongst the general audience of people so far, or at least those who got to see it. Maybe like last night or something like that. Who got to see the uh, world premiere or something along those lines? Um, this move. It was very. This is, I, I don't know about this movie. I, I don't know. I don't know why this movie was made. It it makes no sense why this movie was made. Sony needs to stop doing this. They did it with Venom. Now, yes, I, I believe in some aspect Venom has been more of an anti-hero. Well, I, I, I don't want to say that as much because, I, I mean, so Venom, for instance, for me, growing up, I thought he's always been a villain. I think there's some comics where he's an anti-hero. I could be wrong about that. But Venom, Morbius, You've got Madam Web now. You got Craven the Hunter, and then a uh, uh, Venom Let There Be Carnage. These movies, to the general audience, and to like Rotten Tomatoes, if you pay attention to that kind of stuff. But to the general audience, those movies have not been good whatsoever. I I enjoyed Venom. I will I'll say that. I, I really enjoyed Venom. Uh, let the, Venom Let There Be Carnage was meh. I was okay with it. Morbius, I like, well, don't know why this was made. And now with uh, now with Madam Web, and this this movie had a pretty solid cast, but nobody stuck out in this movie. It was just I, you know, oh here I gotta let me pull. Give me one second. I gotta. I can't remember everybody's names in this movie, but I was just very. I I just wasn't. I I think I guess I just wasn't impressed by this movie. It didn't really do anything for me in this in this movie. Um, so obviously you have Dakota Johnson, who's Madam Web. I mean, she was fine. Um. Sydney Sweeney, which for some reason everybody like it's just drools over her. I don't even know what is she's been. Uh, she's fine. I don't know what she's been in. This is actually the first. She's probably been in stuff that I've watched, but I just never knew who she was. Um, let's see. She was in Euphoria. Never seen it. Anyone but you? No. Uh, White Lotus. No. Handmaid's Tale? No. Uh, along came the devil. That sounds familiar, but I'm not too sure. She was in 90210. That's interesting. Um, so basically, I have not seen a lot of stuff with her in it. Uh, 
her character felt it felt kind of bland with her character. Um, you had Isabella Merced as Anya, Celeste O'Connor as Maddie. I, Adam Scott was in this. Mike Epps was in this movie. Uh, there were, I mean, like, there were some pretty, there were some pretty good actors and actresses in this movie. But this movie just felt very lackluster. I wasn't really all. I I found myself at times, honestly, just being bored with the movie. Uh, there it, it was nothing special about it. It was pretty generic, pretty bland. The humor was not very good. Like there were people in the theater with me that were what not like friends with me but uh they're just general other people in the, in the audience that were watching it and there were there were some chuckles and laughs here and not like ha 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 laughs but it was there was a few you know chuckles about it about certain aspects and things that happened but uh then you got uh the, the villain who sucked i mean it was just <laughs> i hate the way he dies in this movie is so stupid. They they do that they do that stupid falling camera uh, thing. If you ever saw like Robo, the original RoboCop or even Die Hard, you know when somebody falls out a window, they're falling and the ground is like you know coming up and you can and all that. And that's that's how he dies. It was very stupid. I was just not impressed by it. Um, he had an assistant who just basically went along with what he was doing. I like why? What happens to her? Um At first, when this movie first came out, I could I swear to you, they advertised this movie as the villain kind of like going back in time. To kill uh, Mary Parker, so she wouldn't give birth to Peter Parker. I I, I don't know why I, I I have that in my head, but I really feel like maybe somebody can let me know for sure. But it, I really feel like that's what was originally planned, and this movie was not that. Uh, so there's a which there's a tribe of people in in, in Peru that have spider based somewhat spider based abilities. But it, it was, I, I know the villain of this movie, I'm pretty sure is more of a Spider-Man and Silk villain. His motivation, so he can see the future too. I believe that's what it was. Um, because obviously he sees, I think, I think he said it was probably like 10 years into the future. He had a vision of him being killed. By uh, Julia Carpenter, uh, Anya, and uh, uh, Maddie, uh, the three Spider Women, or I don't know what their official Spider names would, would are. I think well, Julie, well, Julia, I believe is Spider Woman, but um, you see like a little fight scene happen, and it's just. <laughs> I it, I don't know. Here's here's where it, like here's where it. The more I thought about it, on my way home, the more I started to dislike this movie because it doesn't make sense. Here's so you're gonna sit here and tell me. So let's look at it from from a, a spider world perspective. Okay, so if this is if they if these girls don't get their powers for another ten years. So by the time, because they're teenagers, so uh, let's just say 16, 17, 18, maybe. Let's just say around that range. So when they're close, so when they're basically adults, Peter Parker is just becoming maybe 10 years old at this point. And so the more I thought about it, I was like, so they're already spider based people before Spider-Man has even hit the scene. And nobody talks about it. Now, obviously, they, they could be like the Ninja Turtles and just operate covertly, that kind of thing, something along like, something like that. But 
I was just kind of like, that's, uh, I don't know about that. And then there's a scene at the, towards the end of the movie, towards the climax of the movie, where uh, Mary Parker is uh, played by Emma Roberts. She's getting ready to give birth to Peter, and they're all, and they all have to go to the hospital because Dakota Johnson's character is in Peru, tracing back her roots and things like that of what happened to her mom, the spider people, all that stuff. And so Ezekiel, the villain, is is tracking them down. So you're gonna sit here and tell me that both May Parker and Ben Parker saw this villain and almost killed them and is never brought up again in the future. Or is never talked about. Now obviously Mary Parker does go on to die with uh Richard Parker. But Uncle but Uncle Ben doesn't mention anything like this. We do get a hint that he has proposed or planning on proposing to May. I don't know what her last name is at this point. Uh and it's just what is this? Like it it it, it was just like frustrating me in my mind as I was driving home. I was like this doesn't really make sense. And then towards the end again, she she gets she gets blinded. But when you're watching it, it doesn't look like she got hit in the face to cause blindness. It looked like she got hit in the in the chest or in the stomach or in the shoulder. It looked like that's what it looked like. It didn't show anything that showed her getting hit in the face or anything like that. So here, here she's blind. And is she like paralyzed now? Again, it doesn't necessarily give you the indication that she's paralyzed now. Yes, she's in a wheelchair towards the end of the movie, but you don't see a situation that causes her to become paralyzed. I mean, could have been, could have been through from the fall she took? Maybe. I just, it was, it, I have like so many questions. It was so frustrating to, to like watch this and not, get this figured out or anything along those lines um and then i thought some of the i saw some aspects of the movie were pretty cool uh, i liked where she basically creates like a giant web and branches herself to grab each of the three uh girls that are about to fall uh i thought that was pretty cool um like she throughout the movie towards it she hates her mom but they don't do a good job of really like conveying reasons why she just know, knows her mom died in the amazon looking for spiders or something like that and, and, and i guess it left a bad impression on her but and then because like there's a flashback and she's talking ezekiel and uh Madam Will's mother went kind of, basically in the beginning. They're talking about the spiders and stuff like that, and she was just like, "She was like, why did you hate me?" And then she comes to find out she was looking for a spider to help heal some this uh, deformity that was going to happen with. Uh, I believe her name was Caddy Kathy. I don't even remember her name now. Madam Webb. We'll just call her Madam Webb. The hill, like some kind of deformity that was going to happen with Madam Webb. And then, like, once she gets that realization, she's like, oh, you did this for me, and this, this, and this. And I'm just kind of like, it, it it doesn't hit because I didn't really feel like she hated her mom. Um, And then you had the girls who each, I, their situations were interesting as well i don't know I, I i honestly have no clue why this movie was made i i was fine with it as i was just watching it as it went on but then afterwards when i really sat down and start to think about the movie i was just kind of like i don't really like this movie like it's, not, it's definitely not a movie that i'm going to watch again I, like i would not watch this movie again at all um I it, I it was just I don't know I don't know why that movie was made I can see I can see aspects in this movie why people did not like it and I and I I was just like this is 
I think the main thing of it was I was just kind of bored of it. it was, there was nothing interesting about it. it nothing that made it stand out. The cast was buried. Like, nobody in this movie stood out. And, it, I mean, it is what it is. So, yeah, it, it's very it's very disappointing, obviously. But, I mean, I honestly shouldn't be surprised. Because Sony, Sony has got to stop. They have got to stop with this nonsense. Because this movie was set in 2003. Now, they could have... They could have had a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man involved in this. But then it, it would have just messed with the plot of the movie and everything. But I... It was just frustrating, just frustrating. But uh, but yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much all I got. That's all I have to say about this movie. It everybody everybody was already kind of like, why is this movie being made? It, it should not have been made. That is for sure. I am very you know disappointed that this movie was made. This was such a good cast of actors and actresses, and it was just very much a letdown. So it's a very a wasted project. It. It was just not good. It was just not good. But uh, but that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Be sure to check out the rest of the channel while you're here. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below if you've seen the movie. Tell me what you think. But other than that, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.